It's Megazord. Bandai has had the Power Rangers license for 25 years, and now Hasbro has taken it over. Both companies have high articulation figures. Bandai with the Power Rangers Legacy Collection and Hasbro's famous Marvel Legends. We're going to be looking at the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Legacy Collection Trini or Aisha depending on your flavor of Yellow Sabertooth Tiger Ranger and the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Lightning Collection Tommy the White Ranger. The Lightning Collection was revealed during Power Morphicon 2018 for the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers 25th Anniversary. Let's compare the two kinds of figures. Okay. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, too hot to handle. Like with part one, Bandai will go first. There are two versions of the Legacy Collection. There's the Build a Megazord set and the Exclusive Weapons set, which has the Power Rangers in metallic colors and has the power weapons. The Build a Megazord set has a Megazord part that corresponds with the Ranger. Now there is one more Legacy Collection figure, and it's another metallic Red Ranger with the Power Sword and the Megazord sword. But riddle me this, who is this sword for? Oh I know, to build the Megazord figure. Wait, he has two fists. Who is this sword for? No, really. If you know, let me know in the comments. I must be missing something. This version was released during the 2016 San Diego Comic Con. We're going to be looking at a Build a Megazord Yellow Ranger training. I mean, it could be Aisha, but she never got to use a Saber Tooth Tiger Zord. Let's check out her packaging. The packaging is dark again, but there's more color that pops. There's a large window with the name of the Ranger printed on it. The top has the logo, and next to that, it tells us that it's part of the Build a Megazord series. A large face of the ranger is on the bottom left corner, and it looks good. Even though it looks good, it's nothing that takes it above and beyond, but it's faithful to the ranger. The back of the package is the same for all the rangers, with two small differences. The lightning bolt in the background is the color of the ranger in the box. The other difference is that the build a megazord piece that is included with the figure is highlighted on the megazord photo. Other than that, it shows all the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers heads and a small cross cell with the Yellow Ranger, again, the White Ranger, and three of the Power Rangers in space. We have text in three different languages, but it is starting to take over the design. The bottom is also bombarded in text. Let's look at her accessories. This version of the Yellow Ranger comes with a holster and her ranger stick. It's not the blade, it's not the gun, but it's the weapon in the put away mode. I mean, who would ever want that? SH Figure Arts did it right when they included all three versions of the weapon. But I get it, we also get a build a Megazord part. She comes with a saber tooth tiger leg. Let's look at her features. The build a Megazord figures are exactly the same as the exclusive weapon figures. With the exception of metallic plastic, the exclusion of the Megazord part, and the inclusion of the power weapons. The head looks very nice and the power morpher looks great. The coin 
has very nice detail. As for the body sculpt, Va Va Voom. They gave her big Vavas in a darn good Voom. I didn't know that Trini or Aisha were so stacked. And people get upset over Barbie's proportions. Jeez. Let's look at her articulation. Her head is on a swivel and hinge. Her head can turn from side to side and up and down. Her shoulder is on a ball hinge so it could come up and go all the way around. There's a swivel on her bicep and gloves. Her wrists are on ball hinges so they can turn all the way around and bend. She has a bend at the elbow. She has a ball joint at the abdomen so she can do the hula. Her legs are on ball joints. She has a swivel at the thigh and boot. She has double joints at the knees. And finally, her ankles have ball hinges so her feet can move from side to side and up and down. The overall look of this figure is okay. She's very loose and it makes it hard for her to put in a normal standing position. She always looks hunched over to me. She's also very lanky, but with huge yabos. Once again, it's the American way to make her look hot. Now it's Hasbro's turn. Before I get started, I need to say that all four figures in the first wave have the same articulation. Since they are made from the same company that makes Marvel Legends, they are compatible and can be displayed together. Here's Wolverine, a short figure, and Multiple Man, a tall figure. The Marvel Legends head will fit, but the peg hole is a tiny bit big, so it'll be loose. Let's look at the packaging. The packaging is once again bright, but not at all like the basic one. It's bright because the background is white. The artwork is also poster worthy, and it wraps around the side. It's also a different type of print job than the rest of the box, so it's a little shiny. The Power Rangers logo is big, and the name is easy to find. Oh, and there's that warning text up on the top. And the age and different languages again. Only three this time though. The other side of the box has the artwork again, so it can be used to know who it is while it's in storage. This is great. The back is a huge picture of the character we just bought, and below, text, text, text. Hey, how about a cross sell so we know who else we'd like to buy? I already know who I bought. It's the White Ranger because, you know, he's in the front window box. I mean, maybe we could have had a file card or a history of his series. That would have been really cool. And the bottom is packed with mumbo jumbo. This figure comes with two extra hands, a karate chop or salute hand, and another fist. He also comes with Tommy's head. Of course, he comes with Saba or Byako Shiken, the heavenly white tiger sword, and there's an effect for Saba. Let's check out his features. His helmet is shiny compared to the rest of the uniform. This wouldn't be the White Ranger without his armor. The armor is made from soft plastic, but it still has a lot of detail. The belt, gauntlets, and boots are also well detailed. And Saba, oh man, Saba is looking sharp. The uniform has wrinkles, making it look very believable. Let's look at his articulation. His head is on a ball joint and a swivel, so he can look up and down even more. There's a butterfly joint around the lats. It's like the SH Figure Arts version, but I'll talk about that later. He has a ball hinge at the shoulder, a swivel at the bicep, he has a double jointed elbow bone, and his hands are on peg hinges so they can go all the way around and bend. He has a ball joint at the abdomen so he can do the hula. He can also do crunches. His legs are on ball joints, and his thighs and boots have a swivel. He also has a double jointed knee, and his feet can move up and down and side to side. So overall, this figure is great. 
It's like a soft plastic SH Figure Arts figure, but with a better butterfly joint. The modern Figure Arts butterfly joints are hot garbage. Also, it's only 20 bucks instead of 60 simoleons. It makes you wonder, why is Figure Arts more expensive? More hands? Are more hands worth 40 extra dollars? The Tommy head is meh. These real actor faces from Hasbro look printed on. It makes me not want to buy the movie Marvel Legends. But at least for this line, they have the helmets. So yeah, I don't think I'm going to display the real head. Figure Arts has the lightning collection beat in this. Except the open eye kissing face. This figure is taller than the Figure Arts version of Tommy. The special effect is cool, but for me personally, not necessary. I love this figure enough to get them all. I've been watching Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, and it just made having this Tommy figure that much cooler. I can't wait to get the GameStop exclusive Gold Art later. And I can't wait to see what will come for Wave 2. Of course, I love this figure more than Hottie Boombalati Yellow Ranger. It's true to the source, just the way I like it. I mean, it's nice to have fantasies, but not all the time. That seems to be a problem with Bandai. I hope you enjoyed this look at the 2017 Bandai Build a Megazord Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Yellow Ranger and the 2019 Hasbro Power Rangers Lightning Collection Mighty Morphin White Ranger. And stay tuned for more toy reviews.